World of Tanks Holiday Ops is back. We are going to cover all the loot box tanks, all the 3D skins, and all the three new tanks in the game. The Kaliban, a British heavy tank with a surprise. It has a two-shelled auto-reloading magazine. Its standard shell is a high-explosive shell with 850 hit points of damage per shot and 3.75 seconds between shots. Joy in every hit. The Bofors Torvagen. It's a durable Swede with an unusual look. Its hull front withstands hits, while its narrow turret in its frontal projection doesn't have any weak spots at all. Giving shells is always more pleasant than getting them. The M4Y. It's a heavy yet maneuverable tank. It features a unique reserve track mechanic, and this means it does everything decisively, be it an attack or a retreat. It's nearly impossible to stop. The 122TM, a Chinese medium tank with excellent armor and good damage per shot. It's reliable and simple to use. A welcome guest at any party. The Skoda T56, a Czechoslovakian heavyweight with a two-shell autoloader, powerful and attractive. It's ready to bring joy to everyone, even your opponents. 920 hit points of joy in 3.5 seconds. So those are your loot box tanks. Uh, there are some other um, small tanks here that are available. These are, I don't know, tier fours, tier fives. These will be your uh, you know, your backup uh, singers or your, uh, you know, the guys, they are going to make the fillers. And uh, yeah, some interesting, the KV-1 shielded, the, the Sherman was quite interesting as well. Um, what else do we have? These are the 3D skins and uh, let's take a look at them quickly. Um, there's quite a number of uh, 3D styles that are interesting. This one is for the ST-1. ST2, sorry, called the Saiga. Uh, looks kind of interesting. Again, with the uh, apocalyptic uh, theme going on, Mad Max. Uh, lots of accessories, lots of end of the world stuff here going on. Uh, this one is pretty interesting because I like the VZ. It is a meta tank. It is one of the strongest tanks in the game right now. Uh, so this will be a popular 3D skin. Uh, VZ55 and it looks good as well. Doesn't the look like it's um, overpowered. Uh, this one is the Object 268V4. Looks like it's got some rocket launchers or mortar launchers. Not too sure. But it uh, doesn't look too overpowering, so I guess it's okay. Next up is the Sheridan. It's called the Salamander. And uh, this one looks like it's... Um, you know for underwater or you know going through water river water landing craft i don't know but uh the yeah reno looks cool Chironte. the reno chironte called it's the fortuna uh yeah this one looks a little bit uh yeah a little bit spacey this is what happens when a tank's brutality but uh, there you go these Italian are all the style. 3d skins that are available and the last and the final one is for the fv4005 this one looks kind of insane because it's a locomotive locomotive themed some people like it some people the won't uh, it's called the thunder child so these are the um this is the highlight, I suppose, of all the 3D skins because this is complete fantasy out of the realm of uh, reality. This is supposed to be half train, half tank. I don't know. 
Uh, for some people, this will be cool. For some people, it'll be a little bit too much. And they're going to bring back the old old skins from last year as well for the Mouse 60 TP for the uh, gun, uh, CGC. So pretty interesting. Let's stop there. And now we will go take a look at the... Um, the three new tanks the Kaliban is the first one uh, I noticed that in the commentary they said that this tank is going to have an intra clip of 3.75 seconds now the last stats that I have on this tank was a 4 second intra clip again this is an auto reloader um, it will reload while you are firing uh, and the first shell that's going to reload it's going to take about 24 seconds the second shell about 39 seconds both shells will reload in over a minute 62 seconds reload time uh, this tank is pretty atrocious the mobility is okay um, the armor is pretty interesting because it has 250 turret armor and 130 hull armor and it is also um, very sloped armor if you take a look at the uh, Caliban you can see the sloping here it's going to bounce some stuff that's pretty interesting so um, that is the good part about this tank uh, also it does 850 damage on the standard shells that's pretty insane uh, the penetrations uh, isn't that great though the penetration is like 180 for the standard shell penetration premium shell penetration is 292 penetration but you only do 600 damage on the premium shell so this tank is kind of complicated a lot of moving parts a lot of things going on with this tank but i can tell you what else uh, about this tank is uh, besides the intra clip that is uh, 3.75 seconds and the reload takes forever um this tank has pretty bad dispersion 0 0.58 dispersion and the aim time 4.31 seconds is what i have right now it is absolutely insane i don't know how you are going to hit anything if you are supposed to be a tank destroyer firing from a distance um if your aim time is going to be 4.31 seconds you are basically an artillery firing down with a scope uh, it's basically artillery, but you are looking through the barrel like a normal tank instead of the um, instead of the you know the god mode, the sky view. Uh, so it's basically an artillery, but you're firing through a reticle. So that's pretty strange. I don't know how this tank will work out or how we will play in the end, but to me it doesn't seem like a very strong tank because the reload takes forever the aim time takes forever and the penetration isn't that great for the standard shell for 850 damage you only get 180 penetration and for 600 damage you can get 292 penetration 600 damage so you're gonna be pretty much firing premium shells all the time and with your accuracy at 0 0.58 you're not gonna hit anything uh, so this for me is not as exciting as uh, probably the next tank which is the torn bargain which is pretty exciting torn bargain i'm not gonna lie to you uh, this is something that does interest me uh, it is super slow tank um 11.63 power to weight ratio 32 kilometers an hour going forward 12 in reverse uh it is a pretty slow tank but it is a frontal assault tank uh, it does 400 damage with 248 penetration on the standard shells which means you're going to make a lot of credits in this tank because standard shell pen penetration of 248 is sufficient for all your tier 8 games and even most of your tier 9 games and if you do happen to play tier 10 games you got 297 penetration on premium shells with 400 alpha which is plenty for you to uh, go through the game however the reload time is 14.68 seconds which means you can get this down to about 12 seconds reload time uh, at best and uh, the dispersion is 0 0.42 here so from worst dispersion to not so bad dispersion 0.42 dispersion is not as bad as the Caliban but you see a theme going on here these tanks all have terrible dispersion you're going to get worse and worse dispersions from the look of it because uh, of the equipment 2.0 has made all the 
all the old tanks may be a little bit too accurate and now they seem to be overcompensating with less and less accurate guns 0.42 dispersion um, in all intents and purposes is really bad dispersion even for a heavy tank this is worse than um, Soviet tanks uh, so you're gonna be fighting face to face you're gonna be fighting hull down because this is a hull down tank almost an impenetrable turret uh, this you have to be right out in front and you need to be fi fighting in uh, low ground hull down positioning that's the only way you're going to uh, perform well in this tank uh, so this is the uh, Thornwagen and the last tank of course I think this is uh, the one that I think is going to be the most popular this is the Yo tank again this is a tank with uh, double tracks with uh, this tank is pretty hard to uh, permanently track um, and this tank is pretty nimble pretty agile pretty quick for a heavy tank 45 kilometers an hour going forward 18 in reverse power to weight ratio is 18.09 that's not bad at all for a heavy tank uh, that is pretty good speed and agility um, the uh, armor on the turret is 279 frontally again this uh, it, 279 turret armor sounds pretty good but the problem is it is pretty flat armor as you can see so uh, you can overmatch this because there is not a lot of slopes unless you you know you hit the curves here you hit the sides then you might bounce but if you hit it flat on I think you can uh, penetrate it easily with uh, premium shells also you can shoot below the um, gun this little hole here is going to be a weak spot and that huge um, um, uh, bubble mantlet uh, you know gun gun mantlet commander's hatch um, is going to be easy to penetrate as well um, yeah but this I think is the best of the lot uh, only because I think uh, the, the dispersion isn't as bad as those two things uh, this one is 0 0.38 dispersion which means you can get this down to about 0 0.35 0 0.34 dispersion after you you know have all the BIA skills and food and whatnot added to your crew and tank uh, this tank will be pretty good 360 alpha damage on this gun with 220 penetration on standard shells 247 on premium shells uh, if i was going for any tank in the large loot boxes it will be this one because this one seems to be the best all-round most competitive tank out of all the uh, reward tanks out there um, but to be honest with you, out of all these three new tanks, uh, there are two other tanks that were included in the loot box, which is the 122TM and the T56 Skoda. Uh, and uh, in all honesty, out of all these five tanks, the number one tank should be the T56 because that is a beast of a monster tank. Uh, you want a tank instead of this tank, instead of the Caliban or instead of the of the Thornwagen T56 should be the tank you want uh, if you don't have any of these tanks but anyway thanks for watching I hope you got and some uh, useful information out of this video I will see you on the next one bye bye